From the outside looking in, field of view seems like such an unimportant factor, yet when a game releases on the PC without a field of view slider, many PC gamers, including myself, just won't play it. So why is such a seemingly minuscule and unimportant setting such a deciding factor for many gamers? Well, before I say that, let's talk about what field of view actually is. Field of view is the extent of the observable world that is seen at any given moment. In the case of optical instruments or sensors, it is a solid angle through which is sensitive to electromagnetic radiation. Or at least that's what Wikipedia says. To put it in simple terms, it's how much your eyeballs see. When the brain combines the images of both eyes and you take peripheral vision into account, humans have a field of view of approximately 200 degrees, but many have said that the resting field of view is somewhere between 120 to 180 degrees and varies between each person. So why is this relevant? Well, because when you play a first person shooter, you are looking through the eyes of your character. Video games, with a few exceptions, are all about immersion, and especially when it comes to games with a first-person camera perspective. So it only makes sense to show a field of view that is somewhat close to what the human eye sees. I will admit that I have no idea what the conversion is for translating the field of view as seen in a game to what your eyes see. I spent a good long while looking to find the answer, but sadly I can't, so if you know a way to convert field of views generated by an API to a field of view generated by a circular human eye, then please link it to me in the comments. And I guess while we're talking about disclaimers, I should mention that I am using a 16x9 monitor for this video since it is the most common aspect ratio and ultra wide monitors increase the field of view without having to increase it in game. And I will be referring to horizontal field of view instead of vertical field of view since there are only a handful of games that use vertical field of view such as the Metro series and I'll leave a conversion calculator linked in the description. Anyways, when it comes to creating a natural field of view in games, many have found 90 degrees to be a safe number. It's not too low, so it won't cause motion sickness, and it's not too high. Many competitive PC shooters that don't allow you to adjust the field of view, such as Counter-Strike, have a field of view of 90 degrees, and when looking around YouTube, I found that to be the most common number that people use. And in fact, the first time I ever heard the term field of view was by Jack Frags when he was showing his Battlefield 4 settings. Field of view is mainly preference, but horizontal 90 is a classic value that offers a wide range of vision without looking strange or warped. So hopefully it's obvious that on average, 90 degrees is a good field of view. So despite that, why do consoles have a much lower FOV? There are two reasons for this. The first is because typically consoles are played on larger screens that are farther away from the player, so a lower field of view is more comfortable with those parameters. The second and more important reason is because of performance. If you don't know, games will not render objects in full detail if it's not on your screen, and game engines can tell what your field of view is so that way when it's increased, it can tell how much stuff is on your screen and what needs to be rendered. I firmly believe that this is why Fallout 4 doesn't have an FOV slider, because once you do increase it by editing the INI or using mods, the frame rate dies while in the main city. So again, on the consoles, the two main reasons why they have lower field of view settings is because most people play further away from the screen and performance. But on the PC, these reasons don't apply. Most PC players play much closer to the screen and performance isn't as much of an issue, so many players play with a much higher field of view. Now I'm going to show the comparison between the two FOVs, but I'm going to do it differently than most other people because most other people show the difference in FOV while standing still, and they show the lower FOV first. I believe that you'll see the real difference if I show the higher FOV first and I show it while moving in a fast paced game such as Dusk.
Dusk's default FOV is 110 degrees, which is coincidentally the field of view that I've always used in every other game. The reason why I use a field of view of 110 degrees is because it just feels good to me. Yes, I know that the screen kind of fish eyes around the corners, but honestly, while I'm actually playing the game, I don't notice it at all, and yet again, I'll emphasize that it feels good to me, and anything below that simply hurts my eyes, which is actually a reason why many players choose their own personal field of view. If the default field of view hurts your eyes or makes you motion sick, then just increase the field of view. It'll help, I promise. I'll be honest with you guys, the main reason why I made this video is because I had a few people comment on some of my videos, and for some reason they were extremely upset that I chose a high field of view, and I wanted to make this video to spite them. Is it petty? Yes. But I don't care. I would much rather play Stalker like this instead of this, because to me it's more immersive, doesn't hurt my eyes, and I can see more on the screen at once. The latter is another reason why people increase their field of view, especially in competitive shooters. It's a massive advantage to be able to see people out of the corner of your eye by increasing your field of view when you wouldn't otherwise be able to. For instance, I wouldn't have been able to see this guy here with a standard field of view. There is an alternative to increasing your field of view though. You can buy an ultra wide monitor because it does increase your field of view without creating a fisheye effect, but that can get expensive and will cause significantly higher performance impact than simply increasing your field of view. At some point, I would really like to buy an ultra wide monitor, but at the same time, I still want to have the same pixel density as my current 1440p monitor, but I don't know if the performance impact will be worth it. So yeah, that's the video. I've always thought it was an interesting topic that nobody has really talked about, and because a few people annoyed me, I decided to make this video to spite them. Because I'm an asshole. I can see clear.